everybody, what's going on? It's your girl, Dobby Davenport. I'm so excited. This is going to be an amazing show for everyone today. We had a couple weeks that we were off on hiatus, had a great time. I know that you had the opportunity to see again my fantastic designer, Stephanie Bulkharter. The show was brilliant. The Angels came on with Stephanie. Just a great time. Also, you got a chance to meet Melvin Jackson. We did the Red Noses with you guys, too. It was so much fun. Melvin Jackson is from The Wire, amongst a bunch of other things that he's doing right now. He's also a producer and a youth advocate. We talked to you about some of the things that he's doing around in the community and just a great time. Well, today's show is an opportunity for me to introduce you to it's Mr. Julius Cowdery. Yes, I got that right, right? Woo! I was like, I want Al to mess with y'all. Like, 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 how'd you, darling? Yes. Absolutely. And then also the founders of Kiss the Monkeys, an organization that I'm absolutely honored to be a part of. And we're going to let them personally tell you, Raquel Sanchez and absolutely Al Harris are going to tell you all about what's going on with Kiss the Monkeys. It's an organization that you absolutely want to know about. And guess what, ladies? You wrote me in and said that you wanted me to bring a male onto the show. And the guys also were like, Dobby, okay. Look, I know you know about the sports, but can you please bring somebody else? Also, a guy that also I got Daniel Fish is in the house today. What's up, Daniel? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Kiss Thank the monkeys you. is just incredible, guys. And so, Please. how do you? What's the whole connection with the three of you here? Well, uh, Kiss the monkeys. Uh, we started it last year, mm -hmm. and uh, just loving right. it. people that want to help others, yes. uh, be kind to others, be nice to others, uh, just everything good. You know, wow. we just wanted it to to right. gel as a, as a group of really amazing people. I mean, you started out uh, with a handful. Now, every yeah. single Raquel, every time I look up, and it's like there are new people that are coming on board. And I mean, what's up with this? And everybody's super fabulous too. Like everybody's, a, I'm like Raquel's pulling, pulling up, picking up. Uh, Not the fabulous uh, people for sure. <laughs> Everyone wants to be with Kristen. I don't know. There's got to be like some sort of magic element or something like that. And I I do have to attribute a lot to my other half because yes. he has this way of coming up with things and saying, oh, we're just going to make it happen. Like, yes. wait a minute, you have to think this through, and we, let's, you know, <laughs> step. He's like, a, 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 yeah, he's like, let's get there. Hey, you work well together. <laughs> yeah. Yes. He needs you to sort yeah. everything out, I think, maybe. Yeah. So That's how it. do you two know each other then? Well, uh, the we actually went to the same school. It's a very famous oh. school in England. Okay. Uh, he's he's, he's a little bit younger than me. Yeah. <laughs> couple couple uh, years old. Just a couple <laughs> years old. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Look, uh, just a couple but, years. But, uh, his family, um, in case you don't know that, his family are a very famous uh, cricketing family wow. from England. His father and his grandfather both captain England. Oh wow! Uh, which in England is a big deal. Uh, of cricket, so everybody yeah. knows. The we have name a cricket Cowdery. player in the house, also, right here, right? <laughs> the rugby. R rugby? Yeah. Yeah. Just come in and say hi, real quick. I'm gonna, this is live television, might as well just peek at the camera and say hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> guys, here we get a shot of this. Well, <laughs> come on, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> He plays, he plays for the European champion, Saracens. Really? Yeah, yeah, which is a, also a very good thing. That's adorable. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? It, that's what's great about live television. That's no, great. It's great. It's all about the, the, the reality element, the very organic element of it. It's, it. Ellen does it. She's like, all right, come on down. Let's dance. I'm like, hey, come on over, kitty pie. Nice. Yeah, rugby, hey. Wow. So, so yeah. you're... You're visiting in families, you know, royalty from what? I house. am. I've got my little LA family here. Yes. Um, yeah. So I know. I know. Alex, sort of like family friends. Aren't yes. We? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. he kind of uh, took me under his wing a couple of years ago and, and ah. asked me to perform in New York. Okay. Um, and I did that maybe twice, maybe three times. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and he said. You performed in New York. For I performed in New York for Alex. Um, really? Yeah. 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 And uh, very fortunate to do that. And we, there yes. are fashion shows. There are. I mean, it was huge events, and uh, and which was a huge, which was a big, big thing when I was a couple of years ago when I was more starting out. Thinking, yeah. Can I do this kind of sort of thing? Coming to New York is a is a huge feat for someone sure. like me. I'm sure. Sure. He rocked um, it. He was fantastic. He rocked it. Oh, and we had a, a huge event. Uh, but that's and, all. That's uh, how you do it. And he I mean. was the star of it. I mean, he wow. really, really was amazing. <laughs> yeah. So I was, yeah, was telling a, Daniel about like how you guys like to do events, and he's like, yeah, I want to be, because he's going to come out on Monday for for the concert, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you super excited about that? Yeah, definitely, Are definitely. I, I want to definitely see what we can do. I hear, I hear, I've heard so much about you as, you know, the show's coming up, and it is, but, you know, it's, 
you know, maybe we might get you to sing some a cappella tonight. On, on oh, it's TV. Smoke TV. Yeah, smoke right. TV. Y'all saw it this last love minute, that. but hey, you know, I think I think everybody watching, especially myself, um, would definitely, definitely love to hear you sing. And mm -hmm. then definitely we could probably get a, a larger crowd to even probably come out for Monday's event also. Oh, we're going to be packed, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, just, he doesn't know how you all do it. How we do it, does he? Right. He doesn't know how we do it. It's going to be busy. So get there early. Uh, yes. Yes. Wow. Um, can I say, on the first, uh, the very first, First day we launched, yes. uh, we had it on this amazing roof deck in, in on the south. Here, back to LA, right? In LA, yeah. yeah. And he, it wasn't here and he sang oh. on the roof deck at, as the sun was going down. Oh, oh. Uh, and oh. It, was, it, was, it was a huge. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I do not. No one's taken me yet. So. It was incredible. Some dummies Absolutely. out here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on this roof deck overlooking the Pacific Ocean, with all this amazing views, and it was wow. incredible. That was our launch. That was a huge September night last year. year. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, so, I yeah. cannot believe that Kiss the Monkeys just launched last year in September. I know. I know. So. That's. <laughs> when I tell you when I was out at the, what is it, the women's launch yes. that we did and I was out there, uh -huh. well, that actually was my first official event coming out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and thank you so much for inviting me. Then you be became family oh, no, right away. Family. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so honored. <laughs> you know, it, so many times people invite you to do different things with organizations and you're like, eh, you know. But with Kiss the Monkeys, when you said, would you like, I was like, oh, Alex said, send us some information over because when I was like, <laughs> oh my God, did they just invite me to be a part of Kiss the Monkeys? It was like yeah. so cool, like oh. incredible. Wow. Yeah, so a so lot of, I know a lot of people are coming out on Monday. Yeah, What's yeah. the name of the venue again? It's Barloo Beach. Yes, yeah, so um, West, West Hollywood. It's West Hollywood, Hollywood yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I posted so, so it. Right on, on Santa Monica, Santa Monica Boulevard. Boulevard. Right on Santa Monica Boulevard. Mm -hmm. yeah. are you, is there a band that's going to be with you? No, just me and piano. Just you and piano? Just, yeah, really acoustic. Uh, wow. Stripped back. Wow. Um, and that's just why I like, that's the way I like it. It's, it's quite a small venue. So nice. it's quite, it's quite it's nice. Like theater. Yeah. I think you should tell theater. them a little bit about um, the music that you have going on right now the how, and how sure. it parallels with your private life. Yeah. Oh. I think that's pretty interesting. Oh, 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 oh. I hope okay? she's not listening. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's a touchy subject. <laughs> you know, as soon as I arrive, I f it already feels like home. Yeah. Uh, I just want to ship all my family here and just be Oh, my God. It, 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 it's just, it's the, it's the weather, it's the people, it's the, yes. it's, it's the, I love the, uh, the entertainment industry is just so huge here as well. It's just the energy. Like, it's good. The energy, it's the energy, and uh, everyone's so happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so because even the things. homeless people love being here. Yeah. <laughs> Not less <laughs> people. No, because it's like, do you want to be homeless here? Do you want to be yeah. homeless in Chicago, where I'm from? Yeah, right. Where it's yeah. freezing yeah. cold and yeah, everything. I've just been in Venice, mm -hmm. and they yeah. have a great time. Oh, my. I want to hear what Raquel was just talking about, though. She had a key point. She said, tell us about the music and the yeah, let's get to that. Forget it. Don't try to sell it. You try to skip it. You see that? He's like, hopefully she ain't listening. But yeah, about that LA picture. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Because if Raquel says she wants to hear it, I want to hear it too. That's my girl. He's a male Taylor Swift. Oh, he had to get a sip of water on that. I did, I did. No, I had to... I've always written loads of music. Lots of music. And actually, a lot of the time, my brother wrote my lyrics. I have a twin brother, Fabian. Identical twins? No, fraternal. Okay. Uh, and uh, he's coming out in October, so he's going to experience LA life. Wow. But he always wrote the lyrics, and because um, I never really had lots to really talk about, maybe. Mm. Especially when it's deep mu music, and it's, mm. it's heartfelt, and it's real. And then I went through a, a big breakup and a heartbreak, and it's, okay. uh, and I'm sure, mm. yeah, it's not, She's everyone, such I'm a sure. Dummy. I'm, uh, so, <laughs> you know. idiot. Yeah. If you're tuning in, dog, I'm, you're a complete idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in. I hope, she's, I hope she's tuning in. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah, and well, no. Anyway, so yeah, got, went through that and uh, went through the hardship of it, and we all do, I'm sure. So, of course. Uh, and I've written the best music I've ever written. I, I feel like uh, people yeah. relate to it more, and it's it's real, more real, and it's and it's uh, and it flows better, and I, I feel like everyone loves it more. So, uh, right. so I'm really happy. I've I've really come on a lot as a writer. Awesome. Um, and as a performer. But it's, I do, guess you, it's, uh, do you write all of your own lyrics? Would I do, yeah. You? Okay, good. Because I know a lot of artists that, you know, perform, they have a lot of ghost writers and things like that. Yeah, and, yeah. And, you know, and that's, that's great and everything, but there's nothing that's more just organic than someone writing their yeah. own music. And I love it organic. And yeah. if, as, if you see, yeah. if you come down on Monday, it'll be very If cool. I come down. Well, I hope you come down. Please, I'll be the first one in line, honey. Yeah, you write all you write on the front I'm seat. I'm filming and <laughs> taking pictures of you. I'll be screaming, Joe, guess what? Lloyd will be there. We're going to be screaming and howling. Lloyd has a homie sometime. He's like, Dobby, Dobby, Dobby. Hey, I'm like, boy, don't stop after Get on stage and start passing out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe we can do it. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Hello. Ooh. <laughs> do what? <laughs> Did he say do it when? Do what? Do what? <laughs> do what? Do it. 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 I thought he said do it well. She said, she said, yeah. I've already started without you. 
<laughs> so do you like the English accent? His English accent. <laughs> Mine's a bit uh, sort of Americanized now, but his is still very English. Oh my Yours God. Uh, it's so, not. How do you know it's not? I've been here like 12 years now. Wow. States, so it's a little bit... Uh, you can people say, say I sound a bit Australian because it's like you know, mix of American I we get English. the I get a lot as well though. Do you? Everyone says, Are you Australian? I said, No. Uh, I'm not actually <laughs> <laughs> English. Down under. But it's the fifth time <laughs> in the evening that I've <laughs> I know that with the Kiss the Monkeys, like you talked about being in New York and then Julius talked about you you know, giving him the opportunity to perform in there as well. Yeah. A lot of people and Raquel has even spoken about it, and I've seen that you had such a large support group of your whole because you weren't doing Kiss the Monkeys here and we're gonna talk about where we got so many people ask me, where did the name Kiss the Monkeys come from? I, I mean they've all got this I had they had I had a picture of this guy kissing me on the cheek I said, honey, wait a minute, oh, is that Kiss the Monkey? I said, you're trying to say monkey no. No, like, <laughs> no, 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 the guy kiss us, no, no, no. And then we'll tell the story of that. But so talk about like, okay, how did you get to LA? And you were in New York and then you came here, but talk a little right. bit about like what you were doing in New York as well. Well, I, I, I had another organization, I, I won't mention the name now, but I had another organization that okay. was very big. We, uh, there was like 300,000 members on wow. Facebook. And so lots and lots of big events on the East Ooh. Coast, all over Ooh, the East Coast. Yes. And, uh, but my life took a big turning. Uh, yeah. I met this amazing lady oh and uh, basically wanted to start a new life. Look at those legs. You had to go anywhere for those. I stare at her pictures myself sometimes. <laughs> Don't we all? I'm jealous that I have to watch these two. <laughs> so, yeah, so I uh, met this amazing lady and uh, uh, New York had run its course for me. I okay. had a sure. few things, uh, a few issues, and uh, sure. uh, so it was time to, to sure. make a move. Change. Change. Change, change. is good. I've been there 11 years and. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think you know a lot change of is good no matter what's going on. Yeah, I don't care if it's yeah. even going great. It's like and, they, yeah. what, what, did something go wrong? No, honey. I mean, <laughs> no, it's great to make a change. It's yeah. like all about and, that. And, so. and Raquel also has a, a lot of experience with organizing. I mean, tell them about help, help, help for Hiram. Uh, yeah, um, I always did charity drives and events, organizing them. Chicago, um, in Chicago. Yeah, in Chicago. Mm. So when um, the Typhoon Yolanda hit the Philippines. Mm. Uh, a few of my friends got together and we were looking at the picture and we said, you know, we gotta stop talking about and this. And then I called in one of my girlfriends whose husband is the executive director at um, uh, ABC News. Okay. And then we had ABC, NBC, CBS, uh, Univision, everybody there. Um, the second day, Hundreds of volunteers came through, mm -hmm. and every day for two and a half weeks. And it was, I think, the third day when uh, one of the other organizers goes to me. You know, we made it big because we're in the news because they say, avoid the traffic around Irving Park Rizal Center. For a mile and a half out, the whole radius is blocked because that's how far it was stretching out the traffic. To in for Chicago? People. Mm -hmm. oh my in, the, in cold winter, the typhoon mm -hmm. happened in... November, late mm -hmm. after Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. I think it was. And it was bitter cold. And we had volunteers in there packing things out in the cold in the trucks. So, oh, wow. Mm. So that's what made and me were you, were, you the that, were you the head of that mission? <laughs> I was head of the social media. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, there was five of us. Wow. So yeah. That's and we had the governor. Shift, yeah, we had. Uh, you know, like Tammy Duckworth, who's a senator, uh -huh. uh, bought up our organization on the Senate floor, trying to get us a C-130 plane. Oh, wow. um, by the end of it, we had 17 containers sent to the Philippines. And like even a year out, we were still having our stuff donated there. Oh, wow. You know, so wow. it's, it was nice to see, like, you know, we're seeing sure. um, on television and they're Yes. We're seeing our boxes coming through help for high end. Yes. So that was kind of that was one of the I things that like stood out with me about you as well. Like I, when I even looked and kind of went through some of your social media and some things like that, and I got a chance to see just kind of going back a bit, you know, some of the things that you had done. Somebody trying to really help. Hello. <laughs> they <laughs> want to come in. They want to come in. <laughs> I know that's someone like. Wait a minute, she's got a box in there. <laughs> no, it's no. Hold on a second. You know, the, and also with what you're doing with Kiss the Monkeys as well. When I was talking to Daniel. And he was asking me about a bit about the show today. He was just bringing them up to speed with everything. And I said, well, he said, was well, it a party group? And I go, it's a party group. Yes, a lot of socializing, but really a lot of advocacy as well. A lot of positive advocacy, Definitely, and that's yeah. very important. Yeah. I, we want to, uh, that's the main focus of our yes. company, is yes. to, to work with charities and to be able to help those less fortunate, basically, uh, the causes. And we've already done a few charity events wow. that help charities so far. Right. Uh, we did a big gala event for the uh, NCD, uh, NCDV, National Coalition Against Domestic Violence. Sorry, yeah. And, what is it? Um, 
National Coalition Against Domestic Violence. Yeah, that was in NCAD. December. Wow. Yeah. yeah, we did a big one there in December in Beverly Hills. And really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are so, things that need to be relived on a regular basis because people don't speak, on, you know, the, some of the things about like the domestic violence, like there's so many things that are swept underneath the rug and if we kick in and we help, it's just like, it's like poverty and it's like homelessness and, and really hunger. Hunger is a big yeah. thing for me. I do this thing called give some leftover love. And all it really means is I give, I've been doing it for maybe 10 years. I just give food from my refrigerator before it spoils. Right. So, and all my friends have been doing it for a while. And so then I just decided, oh, but it's not a, it's not an organization or anything. It's just really, that's give some leftover. It's not, I'm not trying to start up, you know, it just gives this to before it spoils. Why not give it away? And so I pack yeah. it up and Thanksgiving's a big thing and do Christmas and all that. So it's, you know, it's really amazing to to be able to have We great. had an amazing experience actually. We um, we were called up by um, uh, the actor. Um, Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman mm. uh, from the Goonies, remember him? And um, he invites us to go downtown to Skid Row. Uh, wow. I don't know if you're all familiar with Skid Row, but it's a very, I've very, heard about Skid Row. very yeah. dangerous. Have you taken Julius uh, down there? No, we haven't. We <laughs> haven't. I think that would be great as anything. Uh, it's a fun time, man. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> well, well, yeah. Yeah. No, but it'd be good as to really take. Oh, the hat. He might lose his hat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, the great thing is that you really take, you take, you know, positive people like himself, you know, take like down to even. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Imagine giving a performance on Skid Row. They don't get a yeah. chance to have performances. So imagine if one time we took, you know, you're a passionate person, you know, obviously. I'd love to do that. Wouldn't that be exciting yeah. to go down yeah. on Skid Row and give a sh live show for them? You know, because any of us, in my opinion, any of us could be on Skid Row. It's just the, it's just the, the decisions that we made that are different, right. the choices that we are made. But that's just because of who we are. But it could happen to anyone. You know, I've been a millionaire before, and the real estate market took a tank, and I, you know, became a hundredaire. You that, know, and I'm that, rebuilding again. That waitress, uh, the waitress, the actress from um, Superman, that um, they found homeless. Yeah. Oh yes. Uh, they they was she living in a van or something? Or something. Did they? Well, mm -hmm. No, that was another girl they found living in a van, one of the big popular sitcom people or so. Yeah, mm -hmm. so yeah, it can Daniel happen. Right so that was, a, yeah, that was an amazing day. We, we, uh, we oh. took a, uh, we had a big, uh, sort of few tables and we, had, and we were giving out food. Like and they were very polite. They, they were very respectful. There were hundreds of people lining yeah. up. Uh, and we actually had a security guard with us. Corey Feldman had a guy with two guns, <laughs> just in case anything went wrong. But oh. it was, I mean, unbelievable. I mean, everybody should do that once in their life, to go, to go down to Skid Row and, and experience yeah, ex what it's like. Uh, even like when I do a lot of my traveling, like when I travel to many these third world countries, yeah. I went over to Trinidad and Tobago. Right. And of course, knowing it's a third world country, and I have friends that live there, yeah. but it's amazing to see the grind and almost the hustle that they have there. It's everybody yeah. is, mm -hmm doing something even if they're homeless they are still got something to try to do something yeah. you know and that's the thing where here in america where it's like you know if we did do a show down on skid road it's like the positivity and the uplifting it can do for that type of community yeah, for just for those right. people and, you know i tell people it's one of those things where if we can do something positive or i can help somebody why would i not do it right Absolutely. why don't yeah. we do it yeah yeah exactly why don't we do it yeah let's do it yeah, so yeah we should definitely plan it out and, you that's know, a great and idea him singing down there would be Cause, great cause and it doesn't take a lot of planning yeah. i'm with, I'm with yeah. alex when it comes to it doesn't take a trip it's like let's do it and then we do it uh, oh, yeah. yeah definitely we just, people we say do let's do something in eight months ten months in a year why don't we do something in a week it's like how long you here? I leave on the 5th of July. Uh, guess what? We're going to do it before you leave. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Well, why, why wouldn't we? If not, I'm back yeah. in October. All right. I mean, but why, I mean, really, why couldn't we if we wanted to? We, I mean, we could wait until October if we wanted, but why wouldn't we just go and get, tell a bunch of people on Facebook and Instagram to meet us down there? We do some music, take a keyboard, he sings, have some fun, and we all t take some things that we have from our home food down there and, and make a concert, even if there's 50 yeah. of us down there. Yeah, yeah. that's a great yeah. idea. Because yeah. imagine if we got, you know, linked up with somebody, we bring food, bring all that stuff down there and just have it like, it's almost like doing a block party. Right. But instead of doing it like in a regular neighborhood, let's just do it down there. Let's Absolutely. just do it for the people and yes. uplift them down yes. there, you know? That's a great idea. And just idea. give them something that they will definitely remember yeah. and something that will definitely brighten yes. their day and the positivity in their lives. Yeah. Now with your, you know, with your performance, just because I definitely want to know, I look up and we've got about six or seven minutes that we have left, and we and that's great that we're actually able to, to go into that, and sure. and how you know thought provoking is that that we all that's a wonderful thing that when you bring great people onto a show, that you never know what the con where the conversation is going to go, and it's really incredible when you do think about others. And so that's another thing that I looked at your bio that you sent over, sure. and I was like, I'm like, oh yeah, I got this bio over here and everything. 
Where do you see your career going, and where is it that you want your career to go for you? What, what direction are you going with your career? For me, I love to perform. Okay. Uh, it, it means so much to me to be able to perform to people and for people to relate to my music. Yes. Um, I, I always feel that my music's real, yes. and I write it from my perspective, and hopefully people can understand and relate to it. Um, mm. So uh, when I do that, there's no bigger rush. There's no bigger yeah. drug for me. Right. There's, you know, so when I'm out there and, and people are listening and they're actually understanding what I've what I've been through, the experience I've I've actually created, you know, and done, uh, it's it's an amazing thing for me. So I want to perform. I want I I love doing that. I songwrite so that I can perform. Yes. And uh, you know, I've had the opportunity to write with other people and and write potentially for different artists and songwriters okay. and things like that. And that's a different avenue to do to write. So for you've other been people. writing for other so artists. So I write, do a lot of writing oh, for other people. Wonderful. Um, which which is exciting. Yes, but, I bet. but the thing that really yeah. makes me passionate, it really makes me passionate, driven, and happy, and excited, and uh, all the above is is performing. Wow. So uh, so yeah, and 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 thank you to Alex and uh, and Raquel for having me in LA. It's it's very kind of them. Yeah, so, they're just and thank you for having me tonight. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you. And uh, I hope we uh, we get lots of people down for Monday. So <laughs> well, that's what. And for anyone that's tuning in right now, for sure, we want you to come down on Monday. Come hang out with us. What's the exact address, Al? Uh, it's it's seventy two twenty Barlu Bitch seventy four. Uh, what is it? A Barlu Bitch. It's called Barlu Bitch. Barlu Bitch. <laughs> 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 Yeah, Bali Bish, sorry, Bish. 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 It's, Bish. it's Bish. Russian. Bish. It's a Russian. Oh, Bali Bish. <laughs> Russian. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, a bit yeah. <laughs> it's my English accent. Bali Bish. I was like, dang. He didn't even give me dinner first before he started calling me names. <laughs> 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 That's another show. Yeah. But it's got a theatre. It's really nice. It's it's wow. a bar at the front, but at the back it's a theatre. Wow. Uh, it's it's very so it's sort of hidden intimate away. Feeling. 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 Yeah. It's it's lovely. And it's a, mm. and he he performed there before and it was fantastic. Really. Uh, so we were turned spot. on for from it by um, um, Craig from Brits in LA, which is another great uh, Facebook group. That um, when he came LA. in, he told us last minute um, mm. he wanted to perform and. We are like, okay. So you mean you just yeah. got this together? When he first came. Oh, okay. Oh, the first so, time. Oh, the first time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. like, wait a minute. I thought it was about this whole thing. One. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, but wow. It, it's just like what we're going to do at Skid Row. It's, Absolutely. You know, let's just That's do a, it. Let's just do it. I think no, we're, 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 are you going to do a little bit of acapella? Is this? Yes. Would you like me to? Please, please. please. <laughs> Three minutes okay. to go. Give it to us. What would you like me to hear? Something cover? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it's a song I really like. It's called Let It Go. Or or original, whichever one you want. Whatever you want, whatever okay, you feel. Um, original. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do a, I'll do, a, I'll do a James Bay song. I don't need to hold it. It's called Let It Go. All right. You said Let It Go. It's called Let It Go. Yeah. There you go. Come and let it go. Come and let it be. I know you'll be you, and I'll be me, and I'll be me. Oh my God! Of course we know that song. Yeah, you know? that's great. Of course, come on now, honey. Please. Sorry, I closed my eyes. I've been told I closed my eyes too much. Really? Um, yeah. Ooh, I don't you close your eyes. <laughs> close your eyes. Open your eyes. All of it. I'm just like, ooh. I get, I get into it. I, get I know you do. Ladies like, we need that cord. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> Where's he leaving? We can make it. Where's the, the green cord? Oh, girls. He said the cord. Yeah, yeah, the cord. Have a look at this. Yes. <laughs> okay. So for anyone that's tuning around, these are, are we're all the same inside. Dows and oh my God, Diana. How do I get one? The, you know what, uh, Tim Bellavia. I'll send you information, but Tim Bellavia, you can go to we're all the same inside dot com. Check out. He'll make a doubt oh, for that's you. My girl. And what we're all the same inside is all about, guys, for you tuning in is that you know, so many times we, we judge one another and we judge because of nationality, sexuality, anything like that. I guess what the dolls are all about us feeling just being um positive toward one another no matter what. Like being mm. just encouraging one another no matter Sorry, what. Man. Like we can't because as we just said a minute ago about homelessness, it could be you better be careful because it could be you one day. It all it's just a, a matter so I saw so many friends that were extremely wealthy and when the real estate market took a tank, like we all had a whole bunch going on and then all of a sudden we looked up and we didn't have as much money. But as long as you have a positive attitude and a very intelligent brain, you can always rebuild finances. So this is Diana 
Uh, Diva Dobby Doll was very jealous and lonely for a while. <laughs> so I asked Tim, I go, she started, Dobby Doll, I want somebody to play with. I was like, well, I'm not enough. So we got her, uh, Diana Doll, to come on board. And so, yeah, we're all excited. So, yeah, there we go. I just wanted to let you guys and know about Dobby that. Dobby knocks Diana off the. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Girl, I'm going to let you sit over here. You want to put your mask on, girl? <laughs> so, yeah. Can I just quickly say, Dobby, thank you, you so much. You thank you so yes, much for having thank us. You. Uh, oh, my in case God. The time runs out, I wanted to say that you're so dynamic. I mean, oh. we absolutely love you, and oh, uh, you know, you. you light up every event you go to, uh, and <laughs> you go to a lot. <laughs> I go to a lot, don't I? A lot of events. I sometimes somebody asks me the other day, how many hours do you, did God give you in a day? <laughs> and I go, what do you mean? I go, because he say, there's no way you could do all that in 24 hours. Like right. today, I was up at six, gone. Oh, wow. Then I came home and took a shower and changed. I'm like, I'm here. But you know what? You're just an incredible Thank ray you. of light, uh, and you. you brighten up every event you go to. Thank you. I feel the same way about you guys every time. We love I love you being there. I just thank you. Fantastic. I've never seen her like it. I love it. Thank you. Let me see. Let me take a look at see. I take another look at myself. <laughs> you are fabulous, girl. I'm all about affirmations, honey. <laughs> you beautiful girl. <laughs> But, you know, you've added such a great dimension to Kiss the Monkeys. Thank you. And, thank uh, you. Well, we this is your television you. show now. So. We love having <laughs> you with us. Guess what? Guess what? KTLA, we're coming to you as well. So we love you guys. For anyone that's tuning in to Dobby Denford Live, we love you. Thanks so much for Julius for coming on board. Thank you so much for Alex. Thank you so much for Raquel. I love my male co-host. We love you so much. 